Hi guys, it's Miss Felice. Today's lesson is on simplifying expressions. So this is something that you actually already know how to do because it combines both distributing and combining like terms. So when we simplify expressions, the way we do that is first by using the distributive property and then if there are any like terms in the expression, we can combine them. So let's take a look at our first example. I'm going to need you guys to have a notebook and a pencil so that you can copy down these examples as we go through them together. Okay, so first we have 4 times 2x minus 5 plus 6x. First we want to distribute. The number that's getting distributed here is 4 because it's the number right outside the parentheses. So we are going to do 4 times 2x, which we know is 8x, and then we are going to distribute and do 4 times 5, which we know is 20. And I can bring down my minus sign. So now my question is, do we have to do 4 times 6x? The answer is no, we do not because we only distribute to the terms inside the parentheses. 6x is not inside the parentheses, it's on the outside. So we just bring down plus 6x. We don't multiply it with the 4, we leave it by itself. Okay, now I can combine like terms. In this problem I have 8x minus 20 plus 6x. Well, 8x plus 6x are like terms. 8x plus 6x is 14x and I can't combine that with minus 20 because 14x and 20 are not like terms. So this is as simplified as I can go. This is my answer, 14x minus 20. So that means that this expression, 4x minus 20, and this expression, the what we started with, those two things are equivalent with one another. Let's write that down. Those two things are equivalent. That is super, super important. Okay, so this is how we simplify. Distribute and combine. Let's do another one together. Okay, so in number two here, I have two times 8 plus 3x minus 2x plus 4. Okay, so what number is getting distributed? It's the 2, because 2 is the number right in front of the parentheses. So first I will distribute 2 times 8, which is 16. And then I will distribute 2 times 3x, which is 6x. Do I distribute the 2 to these? No, I do not, because minus 2x plus 4 is not inside the parentheses. So I just rewrite them on my next line. I leave them by themselves without multiplying it by 2. Okay, now that I distributed, I can go through and combine all my like terms. So I see 6x minus 2x, which is 4x. I can bring that down. But then I also see 16 plus 4. Well, 16 plus 4 is 20. So I'm going to have 4x plus 20. Can I keep simplifying? No. These are not like terms. I can't combine anything else. So this is my answer. And that's it. Okay, so right now I want you guys to pause this video and try these four examples by yourself. You are going to simplify each expression by distributing and combining like terms. When you are done, click play so that you can check your answers. All right, now that you guys have done these by yourself, let's go and check our answers. So for number one, hopefully you distributed in this problem. We have three times x plus nine minus seven. So hopefully you did 3 times x, which is 3x, 
and then 3 times 9, which is 27, and then we bring down the minus 7. Well, the only like terms here are 27 minus 7, so my simplified expression would be 3x plus 20. That would be my answer. Okay, number 2, we have 5 times 8 minus x plus 6 minus 7. So let's start with 5 times 8, which is 40. And then 5 times x, which is 5x. And then I'm going to bring down plus 6 and minus 7. And I can combine all those like terms together. So I see 40 plus 6 would be 46. And then 46 minus 7 would be 39. So this would be 39 minus 5x. And that would be my simplified answer. Number 3. I have 4x plus 2 times x plus 6. So this one's a little tricky because the 4x was on the left instead of the right. So when we distribute for this problem, the number that we're distributing is 2 because 2 is the number right outside the parentheses, not the 4x. We bring down the 4x. We don't distribute with it. So then I'm going to do 2 times x is 2x. And then 2 times 6 is 12. So now I have 4x plus 2x plus 12. This is a plus sign here. Well, 4x plus 2x is 6x. Ooh, 6x. And then plus 12. And I can't combine those anymore, so that's my final answer, 6x plus 12. And lastly, over here, we have 8 times 2x plus 4 minus 3x minus 1. So first, let's distribute. 8 times 2x is 16x. Oh, well, my pen is being so funny. I'm sorry about that. 8 times 4 is 32. <laughs> Oops, that's a 32. Let me fix that for you all. And then minus 3x. And then minus 1. Okay, so let's combine. I see a 16x minus 3x. Be careful. And then we're also going to combine 32 minus 1. Be careful. Actually, I'm going to type it since my pen is being so strange right now. So 16x minus 3x is 13x. And 32 minus 1 is 31. So that would be my final answer for this one. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching.